Five types of smiles. This is a summary and analysis of the five common types of smiles that you're likely to see every day. Smile number one is the tight-lipped smile. Everyone has seen it before. The lips are stretched tight across the face to form a straight line and conceal the teeth. It sends the message that the smiler has a secret or a withheld opinion that they're not willing to share with you. According to the book, The Definitive Book of Body Language by Ellen and Barbara Pease, it is commonly used by women who don't want to reveal that they don't like someone. For example, one woman might say to another, she is very capable and she knows what she wants, followed by a tight-lipped smile. The tight-lipped smile is also commonly seen in pictures of successful businessmen who have a tendency to talk about principles of success but rarely do they reveal the exact detail of how they succeeded. Now compare that with a picture of Richard Branson, who is always seen spotting a white toothy smile. Branson doesn't hesitate to explain the exact detail of his success because he knows that most people won't do it anyway. Number two is the twisted smile. Look at this picture of Rick Santorum, American attorney, author and politician. He's portraying the perfect twisted smile. This smile shows opposite emotions on each side of the face. Imagine we place a double-sided mirror down the middle of the face at an angle of 90 degrees. We would produce two completely different faces with opposite emotions. One face would display a cheesy grin, the other an angry frown. The authors of the definite book of body language state that the twisted smile is peculiar to the Western world and can only be done deliberately, which means it can only send one message, which is in fact sarcasm. Another common smile is the drop jaw smile. Look at this picture of American actress Blake Lively, who is known for her role on Serena and Gossip Girl. According to Mr. and Mrs. Peace, the drop jaw smile is an attempt to involve the eyes in the smile. Everyone knows that the lack of eye involvement is a giveaway sign of a fake smile. Four is the sideway looking up smile. The head is turned down and away while looking up in a tight lipped smile. The sideway looking up smile makes the smile appear juvenile, but also playful and secretive. It has been shown to be men's favorite everywhere because apparently it engenders parental male feelings, making men want to protect and care for females. Lady Diana mastered this smile, and this is the same smile now used by Prince William. The last smile I'm going to talk about is the George W. Bush grin. He was known to have a permanent smirk on his face. Smiling among middle class people is most common in Atlanta, Louisville, Memphis, Nashville and most of Texas. Bush is a Texan and they smile more than other Americans. As a result in Texas an unsmiling individual might be asked if they are angry about something. While in New York the smiler might be asked what's so funny. President Carter was a southerner who smiled all the time. This worried the northerners who feared that they uh, didn't know about something. Let's end this video with a great quote. Smile constantly, everyone will wonder what you've been up to. Thanks for watching and subscribe.